Hi, my name's Pete, welcome to the channel. On this episode we're going to go through the Burdale Railway Tunnel in East Yorkshire. We're on a paranormal investigation, I've got one of my friends in the background here. He's coming with me. Um, he is into the paranormal, so we have somewhat of an expert with us today. We're also going to visit the village of Warren Percy and it's a deserted medieval village and there were strange things found in the cemetery when it was being excavated and I will tell you about that a bit later on. So in the meantime we'll get down there, we'll get set up, we'll set up our spirit contact voice activator and uh, we'll get on with it. Our tunnel is through there, so that's where we're going to be heading. Okay, so we are almost here at the western portal of the Burdale Tunnel on the old Driffield to Malton Railway. Now there is one confirmed death here. And believe it or not, it actually looks like it is open at this end. Poorly equipped to go in it today, but I will be back for that, I think. Now, it's starting to get dark now. As you can see, this is our portal. This is the track bed. Down there, you might be able to just see water reflecting off it. And there is a, a bridge back there, quite a low bridge compared to trains, locomotives, steam locos when they used to come running through it. And there is an account in the Driffield Times in the late 1800s of somebody hitting their head on that low bridge. Now they didn't survive and the body was found at the entrance down here so that's two deaths we know of at this tunnel we will try and make contact with those people and see if they've got any messages they want us to pass on we'll let them know that we are friendly that we're not here to harm them once we've had a try here we're going to go back the way we came up through that wood there and we're going to go to the medieval village of Warren Percy and I will tell you a little bit more about that when we get up there. Okay, so we're here now at the tunnel entrance. We're just setting up and getting going. We've got EMF reader. Hopefully this will detect something. I'll have a little walk around, get a baseline. I'll be back in one moment. not detecting anything right now so what we'll do is we will place this down and we will keep an eye on it and see if we get any of these lighting up okay we're well, time to open our uh, device so that we can try and contact some spirits okay so we're here now it's dark enough it's quiet enough spirits don't like it noisy so it's quiet we have got some animals going off in the background, so you might hear some strange noises from them. But we're not here for those. Let's see if we can get anybody on here. Is there anybody there that wants to talk to us? You can talk to me through this device. We mean you no harm. Is the worker here that died 
in the construction of the tunnel. The navy. Make a noise. You can speak to me through this device. The gentleman that hit his head, are you here? Is there anybody that wishes to talk to us? Can never predict these things. So I think what we'll do is we'll switch off for now. Leave it a bit later and we'll try again shortly. Am I dead? I'm sorry, you are, yes. What's your name? I can feel the atmosphere changing now. The animals have gone quiet. What's your name? We mean you no harm. EMF reader remains the same. I've got that down there. Are you here with us now? Why did you come? To say hello. Have you a message you want us to tell anybody? Brian. Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. What happened to you? Do you wish to talk to us, Brian? Did you work on the tunnel? I think all, all that chill in the atmosphere is gone, I think. Were you detecting anything? I don't think so. Brian? We are curious. Can you tell us what happened? Can you tell us what happened, Brian? Brian? Or anybody else, are you there? Sorry, I thought I saw something up there then. Okay, no, nothing there. I could have sworn I saw, I saw something through there. Are you with us, Brian? No? Okay. Okay. So Oops, sorry. I think what we'll do is again we'll give it a break.
come back to it in a few minutes. So my friend now has got his device out. This picks up voices through EMF. And if there are any changes in it, it changes pitch and tone and it will sometimes even say words. And we can see my EMF reader on the ground. It hasn't changed, it has always remained green. Not really getting anything there. So we're not really getting anything on that one, and we'll try the uh, spirit box again in a moment. Okay, so we're going to go one more time with the device. Is there anybody there? Is there anybody that would like to talk to us? We're still at the tunnel at this point. The entrance being on my left. really quiet now, really dark, there's no animal noises. Is there anybody there? Would you like to speak to us? You can talk to me through this device in my hand. We mean you no harm. EMF is still on green all the way. I'm not detecting anything in the atmosphere. I'm not feeling anything. But it can change in an instant. Is there anybody there that would like to talk to us? Would you like us to leave? It's got a little cold. Yeah, I feel that. It's quite a chill came on quite suddenly. Is there anybody that would like to talk to us? I think what we'll do is we're not getting any contact. So we'll move up to Warmer and Percy, up near the cemetery, and we'll try and make contact with some people from the medieval village. I'll turn this off. Okay, so we're now leaving the tunnel behind us and we are heading up to Warren and Percy, which is that way behind me where you can see the light going over my shoulder. Sorry about that shadow there, that's my arm. As you can see, there's no light up there. It's a dark path. It's a deserted medieval village. And we have had friends who have had negative spiritual encounters at this village. We're going to go. We're going to see if we can talk to anybody. And we're going to let them know that we're friendly. I'll see you up there. As you can see, without torches, we would be ruined. It is so dark. There's full cloud cover tonight, there's no moon. 
we'll get up there, we'll set up and we'll see what happens. So we've made it down to the abandoned church. As spooky as that might seem, it's very unlikely that there'll be something happening around the consecrated ground of the church and right now we're in the middle of the cemetery in the pitch black and again there's my friend just getting into shot slightly again we're on holy ground so it is unlikely we're going to get any activity here so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back up to the medieval village or the remains of where you can still see some earthworks and we'll get some footage of what's going on there hope you've enjoyed that episode if you have please like share and subscribe next time we will get down to Warren Percy village we did plan on doing it on this episode but it's got a bit too late we will come back and we'll see that in the next one all being well so subscribe take care